Hello friends, welcome to Electronics for You. In this video, I will explain data transfer instructions in 8051 microcontroller. Let us see some basics of these instructions. 8051 has total 255 instruction. Therefore, uh, if we consider 8 bit data, then 2 raised to power 8 equals to 256 uh, and here only one instruction will remain and its address is a phi u. otherwise every opcode from 00, 0 to f f is used for these instructions the 8051's instructions are classified into data transfer instruction arithmetic instruction logical instruction boolean instruction and branching instruction here now let us see uh, which are the things available in 8051 so that uh, they can be used in assembly language programs. Note here that two general purpose registers A and B are directly used for the instructions whereas some other registers are also available which are known as R0 to R7. These are also general purpose register but here the selection of these registers are depending on the register banks. Then uh, two more registers are used here. One is DPTR which is used for the external RAM. So DPTR is used for the external RAM whereas for ROM that is for the program memory program counter that is PC is used. Then two memories are there which may be internal or external. Here it is data memory and program memory. Data memory which is internal starts from 00, 0 and ends to FF whereas program memory which starts from 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0 H to FF, FF, H means program memory may be of 16 bit and data memory is mostly of 8 bit but when we connect the external ram it will be of 16 bit so don't get confused here internal ram is of 8 bit whereas the external ram will be of a 16 bit here and this program memory it is generally internal program memory is 4 kilobytes whereas external program memory may extend up to 16 kilobytes. Now uh, when we use the data transfer instruction most important instruction is MU instruction. MU is used for the copying of one data uh, to other location. So here the MU format the instruction for format for mu is mu destination comma source note here that source is written on the right hand side where destination is written here at the left hand side and here are some examples of the mu instruction here as this is the source so 55H will be copied into accumulator. Similarly, the data of accumulator is copied into R0. The data of R3 is copied into accumulator in these different instructions. I will explain this instruction later on, but note here on right hand side, source is written, whereas on the left hand side, there are destinations. So, here uh, let us see some again the important uh, source and destination or we can say that, that uh, here operands these are the different operands that we will use in our instructions operands so here the first one is accumulator which is indicated by a then rn these are the register r0 to r7 so whenever i, I am using rn here it means that register R0 to R7. The internal RAM address, internal RAM address is actually indicated by direct here and it is an 8-bit address. 
then at the rate ri will indicate the indirect addressing mode here at the rate indicates the indirect addressing mode and ri stands for either r0 or r1 registers only then hash data will indicate the 8 bit constant here 8 bit constant simply means 8 bit number not other than this then hash data 16 stands for the 16 bit data and bit stands for the single bit it may be uh, bit from any register or a bit in the io ports then c stands for the carry flag in psw register so these are the different operands we will use in this instruction the first type of instruction as i have already told it is the move instruction and these are the different move instruction here now one thing is common in every move instruction that this right hand side is indicating source and left hand side is destination means data will be copied from this right hand side to left hand side operand operand depending on the type of addressing so the first instruction is move a comma rn it means that instead of rn there may be any number from 0 to 7 so it is r0 to r7 any register the data from this register is copied into accumulate this is the meaning of move a comma rn next instruction is move a comma direct as i have already told it direct means internal ram address it may be just like this any uh, 8 bit address may be there so uh, ex for example move a comma 30h may be written there and here the data of this 30h data at the memory location 30h is copied into accumulator then move a comma at the rate ri stands for indirect addressing mode ri here i may be 0 or 1 so the register which is indirectly indicating the address of some memory location will be copied the data at this uh, address will be copied into accumulator this is the indirect addressing mode for example if r i uh, instead of r i if r 1 is written there and r 1 is having uh, some value let it be 50 then the data from this 50h memory location will be copied into accumulator the literal meaning will be like this then the next is immediate addressing mode because hash is used here note here that in uh, case of immediate addressing mode whenever this hash is used it is always source and source is written here on the right hand side in that case therefore this hash data will always be on the right hand side now for example if move a comma hash 25 is written it means that 25 constant is copied into accumulator here the exact reverse meaning is here move rn comma a it means that the data of accumulator is copied into register rn move rn comma direct it means that may uh, data of some memory location indicated here which is copied into the register rn move rn comma hash data simply means that this data here data is copied into register rn again i am saying rn stands for any register which is starting from r0 to r7 depending on the active register bank move direct comma a it means that data from this accumulator will be copied to a to an internal ram location move rn comma move direct comma rn stands for the the data from this register is copied into internal ram location then move direct comma direct here it may be move 20h comma 30h it means that the data from 30h will be copied into this uh, 20h like this so one memory location to another memory location uh, data copying is always possible here also note that the content of source will always remain unchanged 
therefore data will exist at source as well as destination here mu direct comma at the rate ri stands for indirectly uh, whichever the memory location this ri is indicating the data is copied to the direct memory location which is indicated here so direct may be anything any number from 00, 0 to ff next one is mu direct comma hash data so uh, the, the constant indicated here will be copied to the direct memory location. Similarly, move at the rate ri, a, it means that accumulator's data will be copied to the indirect memory location. Move at the rate ri, direct indicates that memory uh, data from the direct memory location will be copied to the address indicated indirectly by this ri register and the last instruction in this is move at the rate ri comma hash data it means that data some data that is a constant is copied to a to an indirect addressing memory location indicated by ri here so these are the different move instruction here now next type of instruction is again move but note here that it is a bit wise instruction one bit data transfer involving carry flag so here move c comma bit bit is written here that it means that a bit is copied to a carry flag here so we can say for example simply if move c comma p 1.1 is written it means that port once pin number one data uh, data means that bit will be copied to the carry flag similarly move bit comma c it means that that the carry flag will be copied to a bit this is the simply bit wise instruction similarly move 16 bit data transfer is also involved here but only for one register that is another 16 bit register known as dptr means data pointer here you can see move dptr comma hash data indicates for example here it may be dptr comma say 1234 h hash 1234 h it means that this 1234 number will be copied to the dptr that is the data pointer here dptr is actually having two different parts one is dp L and another one is DPH that is higher byte will be copied into DPH higher byte here in case is of 1 2 3 4 is 1 2 and lower byte is 3 4 so in this way this instruction will work next instruction is again move instruction but note here that it is move C here C stands for the code memory that is code byte move code byte this instruction load the accumulator with the byte from the program memory so the program memory byte will be copied to the accumulator in this case here is the actual instruction you can see here okay move c move c a comma at the rate a plus dptr note here it is dptr which is having a 16 bit number whereas accumulator is having 8 bit number so this 8 bit data and 16 bit data will be added together and uh, whichever the memory location these two will indicate is having some code there and that code will be copied into accumulator for example if a is 50 and dptr is having 2000 h then 2050 will be the addition 2050 will be the addition of this result and this 2050 is nothing but a pro, uh, program memory location so this program memory locations uh, pro code will be copied into accumulator in this case similarly move c a comma d a plus pc is indicating the similar way here only pc will be having a 16 bit address and this 16 bit address plus accumulators content will be added and further this will be copied into accumulator in this way the code can be copied by using these two instructions now next instruction is move x similar to the code memory here x stands for the external uh, data memory now move x a comma at the rate ri content of this ri 
will be copied into accumulator here ri is indicating here the external data memory similarly the content of dptr the memory address which dptr is indicating is will copy into accumulator similarly accumulator's content may be co copied into the external memory location indicated by ri and accumulator's content may be copied into the external memory location which is indicated by dptr so this move x instruction all these are the indirect addressing mode it will work like way the last instructions are push and pop here push instruction and pop instructions are used for the ram location but we are uh, we can say that they are used for the stack if you want to copy the data to a stack then push instruction is used and if you want to get the data from the uh, stack then pop instruction is used here push instruction will first in increase the address and then will copy the content for example push dpl is written here if dpl is having value 30h here then here the address will be in increased by one first and then the data will be copied to the 30h similarly the data from 40h will be copied to the uh, micro controller here and later on later on the address will be decreased here so in this way push and pop instruction will work in my next video i will explain push and pop instruction in detail because i am explaining stack so uh, if you want to see it in detail please watch it next instructions are exchange instruction it is indicated by xch xch a comma rn here the content of accumulator and this register rn will be exchanged similarly the content of x uh, accumulator and data uh, direct memory address will be exchanged here if xch a comma direct is used xch a comma at the rate ri will exchange the content of indirect time uh, memory location and accumulator similarly the next instruction is xch d here it will only exchange the lower digit here for example if x c h d a comma at the rate r i is written and if r i say r i is nothing but r 0 and r 0 is having 50 h address then the memory location 50 h contains will be exchanged with the accumulator but only lower digit for example if uh, accumulator is having 25 h here and say uh, 50 h is having 32h here now if only lower byte is exchanged so after this xchd instruction the 20 5 will be converted to this 2 will come here so it will be 20 5 and this 3 and this 5 will go there and therefore it will be 30 5 h so these are the different data transfer instruction which are used for the uh, which is used in nearly all the microcontrollers program and friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like comment and share thank you